everyone, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay, and on this Tiff's Tips video, we're going to be going over how I made my Atlantic Mercy wings for my cosplay from Overwatch. I first started by taking in-game reference images from Overwatch. Next, I created a two-scale template of the wings in Adobe Illustrator. You can find the wing template available on my website, link below. I then added on wing extensions to my template. Next, I used my pattern for the wing extensions and traced it onto plexiglass with a sharpie. Then cut it out with scissors and sanded the edges with a sanding drum. Because the plexiglass was curling on me, I needed to flatten them. To do this, I got a heat gun and a whiteboard and went into my garage. Don't forget to remove the blue film from the plexiglass before starting. I began by using my heat gun to heat up the wing extensions until they were a cloudy color. While the wing extensions were still hot, I placed them on the ground and applied pressure with a board to make them flat. You can see here the before and after from doing this process. I next used masking tape to mask off one side for painting blue, and then on the other I masked off for painting purple. I then airbrush painted one side of the blade blue when it was dry, I sealed that side with a coat of satin clear enamel spray paint. Next, I airbrush painted the other side purple. And again, sealed that side with a coat of satin clear enamel spray paint. To make the bone structure for the wings, I imported my lines from Adobe Illustrator into a 3D modeling program called Rhino 6. I next created an interlocking bone structure with part one and part two, and then created six locking pieces for the wing extensions to lock in place with pins. Once I was done making all of the CAD, I have 3D printed the bone structures in ABS filament on a Prusa i3 Mark 2.5 3D printer. While everything was printing, I sanded the metal pins as well as carbon fiber tubes with sandpaper. I then applied epoxy to the carbon fiber tubes and metal pins and placed them inside the bottom bone structure piece. I next used a sharpie to mark where the holes would need to be on the wing extensions. To make the holes, I used a soldering iron. Now it's time to assemble all of the pieces. I first applied epoxy to the 3D bone structure pieces, and then placed the wing extension into the space and inserted the pins, and then applied the top locking piece into place, and let dry. For the wing blades, I again used my template and traced each blade onto 4mm EVA foam. I cut out a total of 4 for each of the wing blades with an X-Acto book. I then, for each of the wing blade sets, applied contact cement glue to only the spine of the blade and let dry. Once dry, I attached them together. Next, I rounded the edges with a sanding drum and then heat treated the blades with a heat gun. To attach the wing extensions and the wing blades together, I applied contact cement glue and let them dry. Once dry, I attached the wing blade to the wing extension on one side and then to the other. I then repeated this process for the rest of the wings. For the moon pieces of the wings, I created them in a 3D modeling program called Rhino 6 and 3D printed them in PETG filament. To have the moons glow, I inserted a strand of blue fairy lights inside of the moon, and then epoxied the front of the moon and the back of the moon together. 
while everything was drying, I then cut out the rest of the wing pieces from 4 and 6 millimeter EVA foam using an X-Acto blade, and again rounded the edges using a sanding drum. I then heat treated the EVA foam pieces with a heat gun. Next, I applied contact cement glue to my pieces, let dry, and attached to add all of the details. I did the same process to attach the moon to the EVA foam piece. I then attached the fairy light battery pack to the back of the piece with contact cement glue. I then followed by attaching the EVA foam pieces to the 3D printed bone structure. Don't forget to add the three detail EVA foam pieces To fill any unwanted cracks and seams, I used quick seal and let dry overnight. To get ready for painting, I covered the wing extensions and the moons with paper and masking tape. I then sprayed three coats of Plasti Dip onto the wings, letting each coat dry fully before the next. I then masked off areas to paint. I started off by airbrush painting blue. Then I masked off the blue painted area and airbrush painted the wing blades black as well as a base coat of black for where we're going to paint silver next. And then I airbrush painted the detail part silver. Next I masked off all of the wing blades and wing extensions and then airbrush painted the main arms of the wings a dark blue purple color and applied black airbrush paint for details. Next, I removed the masking tape covering the moons and masked off the rest of the wings. I then airbrush painted the moons a light blue color. Once all airbrush paint was dry, I then removed all masking tape and gave each of the wings a coat of satin clear enamel spray paint. And that is how I created my Atlantic Mercy Wings from Overwatch. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Love ya!